All right. Um, so this is be underneath the syllabus module in, in D2L. This is your sample paper. This is how the formatting should look. Okay. Um, so again, I've got a header. This is a header. You understand? Don't just write it at the top of your page and then try to write it again at the top of the second page or else it will not, it'll end up in like the middle of the second page because you're going to have footnotes in here that change, your, make it a header. Okay. You need to have a title. Every paper should have a title. Every paper should have a title. Okay. I do not need a title page. Don't need a title page for a two page paper. Don't need it. <clears throat> All right. A okay, single spaced, right? And then mine, I mean, mine runs onto a third page, but I'm long winded and I've got all, I mean, what do I have? Like 12, 13 citations, 12 citations, right? Okay, the, the citations themselves, right? If we were to go here to Word, Right, and so I'm just gonna uh, type whatever, right? And then I need to cite this, yes? See the little tab up here that says references? Reference, insert footnote. You, you see where I did that? Wow. Insert foot, listen to me, because I get this all the time, right? By the way, then you just do that, and, right? And then you can come up here and Right, and then I want to insert another footnote. And look, the two shows up down there. And do not, because I, I, I have this happen inevitably all the time, where a kid just goes to the bottom of the page, right? And then they're like, uh, let me draw the line, right? And then I'm going to put like a one, and then I'm going to, uh, no, nope, no, nope, that's not right. Don't do that. How many of you already did that? Somebody's honest. I promise you we're not the only one. Unless unless you're like Aaron and you haven't even started your paper. I don't know. Did you just say you hadn't started? I had to hear it. Yeah, no, I did hear you. I, I'm a teacher. I We have excellent hearing. So the line will be by itself? Yes, if you do it correctly, yes. So here's here's the great thing, right? So let's actually go back. Um, I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mess with my actual paper. Is my actual paper in here? Wait. So you press references. Okay. So so watch. So here's here's my sample paper, right? So I don't copy over my 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 actual one. So let's just say for the sake of argument, right? Um, I wanted to input. There's there's number eleven. I don't know. Can y'all see this? Let me let me let me zoom in. There we go. Right. So there's no there's there's citation number eleven. Yes. Right. Um, All right, you know what? Maybe that should be cited, right? He was the president of Princeton University and a proud member of academia. Okay? So I've already written my paper, but I can go in here. And if you'll notice, right here is 12, yes? Mm -hmm. So there's 11, there's 12. Right? I'm going to go in here to reference and be like, hey, I should probably cite that. I've got my cursor right after the period where it goes. I'm going to hit insert citation. And guess what? It changed that to 12 for me. It moved 12 to 13. Do you see that? Okay. It will change it for you. It will manipulate it for you. It will do everything correctly for you, right? Um, and what can end up happening, so let's see, four regions run through Texas. If we undo this, see this? Four regions run through Texas. It dropped this line right here onto the next page, okay? If you do the citations this way, because... Watch, watch what really happens, right? Let's just say I wanted to cite this right here, yes? I'm going to insert a footnote. 
it puts 13 down at the bottom of the third page and runs that one to the third page, okay? Because they don't do the spacing correctly. Don't mess with the spacing. Don't mess with the margins, okay? I, here's the thing. Years and years ago, I used to be like very specific in my instructions, like, one inch margins, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's not a length of page, now. Like, it's not like it's a five page paper where you're, you know, blowing your font up to 13 or 14, trying to like sneak, some of you are laughing because you've done it, right? Trying to sneak through because you can't get to that fifth page. It's a word count. So I don't care what, like, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write why over and over and over again on your paper if you go to like size 20 font, right? Because I'm not blind. Okay, uh, but if it's size 11, Calibri, fine. If it's size 12, Calibri, fine. If it's size 12 times New Roman, fine. Size 11 times New Roman, fine. Okay, now here is what I'm going to explain to you though, right? If I go here and look, and I didn't change this, right? So it's Calibri at size 12, right? Down here it is Calibri, it drops down to size 10. Your citations, your footnotes, shouldn't be the same size as the rest of your paper. They should. It should do that for you. Again, I don't care if it's 11 to 10, 12 to 10, 11 to 9. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to be honest with you. If it's 11 to 11, I'm probably still not going to say anything. But every now and then, I get kids that turn stuff in that's like the regular paper is size 11 and their citation is size 16. Okay, The reason for that is because you are copying and pasting right from a website and then not changing the font. Do not, I would advise you, please, do not, do not use a citation generator. Citation generators are worth exactly what you pay for them, right? How much do you pay to use a citation generator? Nothing. Therefore, its value is nothing. You get what you pay for in life, okay? The number of times that I've had kids turn in papers, right, and it's somewhere in the citation line it says meta title. You know what that means? That means your generator couldn't find a title, so it just made one up. And then you, thinking that those are actually valuable, just copied and pasted it into your paper. Nope. Nope. Fail. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Um, what, what does that mean? In yours? I, I, I wrote this paper so long ago, I don't remember. Um, in fact, I think when we were going over this the other day, I realized that my citations aren't even correct. Um, but, where are we at? Uh, his progressive agenda limited individual freedom, creative mass government, all oversight, and allowed to please the claim champion. Uh, that is not. But we shouldn't have a link in there, right? You can if you have outside sources. Oh, we can use outside sources? Yes, you can. I thought it said don't. You don't have to. Oh, okay. You don't have to because you're reviewing the book. Right, so most of the sources, most of it should be the book where you're like, um, you know, Frontier Men didn't rely heavily on government aid, and that's why Hartford Convention of 1815, 1815 even occurred, right? That's, that if you go to that page of his book, that's where he makes the argument that that's why that happened. Good morning, Baker. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Sophia, yeah. go to the attendance office when the bell rings. What's up? So is your citation just like the author's name of what page you found the mm. information on? So look, here's the other thing we'll tell you. See this? This is the first citation. The author's name is Colin Woodard. It's called American Nations, a History of the 11 Region, Rival Regional Cultures of North America. Penguin Books, New York, published in 2011, right? And my first citation came off of page one. The rest of this is redundant. I don't need it over and over again. All I need is the author and the page number. Okay? Now, if you somehow like find yourself in actual college years from now and you have two sources, right, with the same author, then you would need author title page number. But once you have done this, where you have given me the publisher, publication, publication date, all that stuff, you don't need to do that over and over and over and over again. Okay? That is redundant. I do not like redundancies. Okay? And in fact, that's probably a comment some of you will get on your paper. Your paper is redundant. You've already told me this. Don't do that. Okay? 
Any other questions? So we're getting their claim and we're, we're reviewing. You're evaluating. We're evaluating, evaluating their claim. So let's 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 use let's use the term critiquing, okay. right? So reviewing is, is like I don't want you to think like you're just restating it. Yeah. You need to tell me whether or not it is or is not accurate, right? Like if you look down here, right? As convincing as Woodard's regions are, it's not without flaws. He is wrong on Woodrow Wilson, right? He claims that Woodrow Wilson is is Greater Appalachia because that's sort of where he was born. The dude is an academic elitist. That is not Appalachia. Okay, it's not. So I'm telling the author, you are wrong. You have mischaracterized Woodrow Wilson based on your regional understandings. Okay? And hopefully you would understand just because you were born in one region does not mean that you would have to have that mentality forever. Yes? Right? Like Y'all, if you were born here in Texas and you're really liberal, you might move to Austin or California at some point. Okay, you don't have to stay here to be conservative. Yeah? Yeah. Lovely. Have a good day.